is going on guys? Josiah LaRue here. So today we're taking a look at September 2015 Loot Crate. So let's go! So yeah, today we're taking a look at the September Loot Crate. And let's take a look at what nerdy swag got shipped to us this month. So open her on up. I was surprised actually by this box. I thought maybe it was like a extra month worth of swag because I got it a little bit early. This is about mid-month so I wasn't sure what I was getting here but it actually is the loot crate. It's just a really small one for this month. So let's see what's inside. So the first thing I see right here is this loot crate is super interactive so I'm going to try and check out the link and see what all they did with this box. But it, you open it up and it already looks like a treasure chest and What's this I see here? It's a Pokemon Pikachu hat. So normally not into these type of things, but let's see how I look with it on my head. Um, okay, so there's that. Uh, can't say I'm the biggest fan, but and see if I got little Pokeballs in the bottom. Oh, look at that. Aren't they so cute? Eh. Um, probably be giving that away, but uh, for those who are actually Pokemon fans, this is pretty cool. Of course, we have the September 2015 Loot Crate button, and it says Summon on it, and it looks pretty swaggy. We have Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. It's a Hearthstone Collector's Stress Reliever. So, it's a Stress Reliever's ball in the shape of a uh, Hearthstone Egg, which is Pretty cool. It's definitely very squishy. Something I'll probably be keeping. And then a Loot Crate exclusive Supernatural Join the Hunt 67 Chevy Impala. So the uh, awesome car that Sam and Dean ride in the show Supernatural. Here's a little die cast model. Be probably giving that away to my brother because he's more into the car stuff. But that is pretty dang cool. So we have this little box that says You Buy Very Lucky. Uh, not sure it's the Simpsons collectible art, so let's see what's inside. Pop it open. It's actually sealed. And I don't even know what this is. It's in a bag. Rip it open here and it's a Simpson Buddha figure. I don't even watch the show enough to recognize who exactly that is, so I'll probably have to look that up. But it's um cool, I guess. Yeah, I don't even know what to say here. This is Simpson Buddha already. So some of the last things we have in the box is a like really hard plastic type thing. Always room for another. Scratch off gently with a coin. Play free and enjoy a card pack on us. Claim your battle pack. Blizzard.net. So I want to say that's World of Warcraft. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Blizzard. Yeah, that's who that is. So I guess you get a this code, which I may be giving away in a contest, is a code for a card pack in World of Warcraft. So that's pretty cool. That's actually worth something. If you're playing World of Warcraft, this is definitely worth something, so that's pretty cool. Loot Crate's Master Summoner. It's a free mobile game. Developed right here at Loot Crate. This free mobile game is awesome. Augmented reactivities that you can access with the help of a fully constructed summon crate. Make sure to use the summon book for instructions so you don't miss out on the fun. So apparently they created an app so that you can better use the crate, which I really love about Loot Crate is that they're actually integrating even the packaging into this really cool experience. So. I'm going to be checking out and seeing what we can get out of this crate. And then of course we have the Loot Crate Magazine. So, I choose you Pikachu. So people from last month's episode. Rebels and Rogues, the special edition crate. Loot Cast. Supernatural about the car. This month's Mega Loot Crate. Oh, this is cool. So you got a DX Racer Chair, Pokemon Charizard bag. Yeah, okay iPad 16 gig AirPad uh, Air 2 with Wi-Fi, okay. A Destiny PlayStation 4 500 gig console plus the bundle of the game. A Lego The Simpsons House, 
Riot League of Legends PVC statue, a Supernatural Impala 13 inch, so it's like a bigger one of the model, it's like an actual die cast. Um, and then mini crates are Hearthstone Lantern light ups, Hearthstone Swirl mugs, and Hearthstone pint glasses. You can, of course, upgrade to the nerdy swag of um, a Lady Accessories purse or socks or a shirt. September's Loot Crate. So, it, yep, I have the Chevy Impala. Homer, that's who it was. Homer Simpson as a Buddha. Pokemon Lamplander hat. Button. The Hearthstone Foam Ball Stress Ball. Hearthstone Collectible Coin and Card Pack. So maybe I'm missing a coin, but there is a card pack with that. And who will favor the... Oh, okay. So these are playing cards, which I'm assuming I have to do something with the Augmented Reality game and the crate. So still got to figure out this. Join the experience at lootcrate.com slash summon. So I'm going to be looking that up and seeing what we're going to do here. And then we will see what we can get out of this crate. So now we're going to be taking a look at the Summoner's app, which is the companion to this Summoner's box, which really makes this whole loot crate so much more special. So let's go ahead and open up the app. So basically for this first little part, you're just here in this room, tapping on this guy, and he gives you gems. And then as you get more gems, you can go into the store and level up. So the next one I have to get is 5k. But, so now that I've been playing this a little bit, you go to your spell book, and it shows up City AR. So let's tap on that. So now it uses the AR of the screen to bring your game alive. So as you can see here, there's a little guy moving around on the box. And I can I tap on that and boom, laser will blow it up. Oh, he so it just basically uses the VR pattern on the box to then give you a 3D top-down view. And as you can see here, it actually projects the clouds, and the clouds look pretty good. Pretty actually 3D. So now, let's go back to home and collect more gems. Another thing you can do is apparently swipe like you're in Fruit Ninja, and then he gets like evil and he gives you like way more power-ups, and I'm making like 50 coin gems per, keep swiping, keep tapping, so a lot of just pointless tapping. but. Then you make all those gems. So after a bunch of leveling up, I was able to get to the another monster, this little Yeti guy, and now let's go to the summoner's area. So tap that, tap that, and now it's gonna use AR again. And boom, it's reading off the top part of the box, and it says, tap me for more wisdom. Issues that it's gotta read the code. That is really cool how you can actually get like a 3D top down view of him as I move it and it's just reading the code from the box. So it's pretty darn sick. So after about 15 minutes and a metric butt ton of typing and swiping, I uh, upgraded him so that now I have like six different little Charizard type people. So as you can see, I've upgraded my powers to 10 and 28k each for their upgrades. And I've collected 8 little, 9 little Charizard type characters. The next one's going to cost me 100,000. So, it's a lot of diamonds. But, the cool thing is, the third one that I've unlocked is this Flight AR. So let's check that out. So that's pretty darn cool. You can actually see the clouds, and then there's these... 
little flying guys, like, actually flying around and... Depending on how I move them, you can see that they move around, which is really darn cool. I really like what Loot Crate has done here with these Loot Crates. So there you have it. After a bunch of swiping, I finally unlocked my last one, so it's... Congratulations, all items unlocked. So now what? Hooray, you've mastered the art of summoning. Hooray. So I guess that's the end of the game. So you got the three little VR modes, and then you can swipe to the bunch and unlock the eight characters. So, not a terrible lot, but still very cool for Loot Crate to do. And overall, just enhance the creativity and use of the simple packaging that they sent your Loot Crate swag in. So, very cool. So yeah, guys, overall, I kind of enjoyed the crate. Uh, not necessarily as cool, in my personal opinion, as some of the previous crates, but still some cool stuff. Definitely be keeping the swag ball, stress ball, <laughs> and the car was cool. Um, that with the hat, I will probably be giving away as gifts. The free code, probably also be giving away as a gift as I don't play WoW, but overall a pretty cool Loot Crate. So yeah, if you are interested in checking out Loot Crate and getting subscribed to this awesome box of monthly swag sent to your mailbox, check out my link in the description down below for you to sign up. So yeah guys, thanks for checking out September 2015's Loot Crate. Let me know in the comment box down below what did you think was the coolest thing about this Loot Crate, and what do you think about how they're being interactive with their packaging? Are you subscribed to Loot Crate? What was your favorite thing? Let me know in the comment box down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Maybe you can check out last month's episode right here, what I talked about right here. Remember that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to check me out on social media and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!